Member of Parliament for Shaiman, Ernest Nogbe, has filed an application against the Electoral Commission at the High Court. The Shaiman MP is seeking to perpetually restrain the Electoral Commission from compiling a fresh or new voters' register for the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections until it is authorized by a valid law so to do. Ernest Nogbe is also asking the High Court to place an interim injunction on the voter registration exercise. The High Court is expected to hear the case on Monday, June 29, 2020. This is the third suit to be filed against the Electoral Commission on the compilation of a new voters register. The main opposition and National Democratic Congress and uh, a private citizen, Mark Techi Banson, had um, have, their, have had their suits against the EC consolidated by the Supreme Court. And I would surely be speaking to Mr. Nogby to find out really. Right. So we have uh, been joined on the phone lines by Mr. Ernest Nogbe. He's member of parliament for Shaiman constituency. Mr. Nogbe, good afternoon. Thank you for your time. Your party, that is the NDC, is already in court over a similar matter. Why do you deem it necessary to also go to court? Uh, uh, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to your viewers as well. Yes, my party is in court. Uh, they are in the Supreme Court. Uh, it's about constitutional matters uh, that they are battling in the Supreme Court. But my case is about judicial review uh, that they have sent to uh, the High Court. Now, the issue here is that the CR 91 as amended, 126, uh, seeks to uh, give Ghanaians requirements, especially the 126, the, the amended version, that is Regulation 1, is seeking to give Ghanaians requirement to do fresh register. And also, when you look at uh, Section, that is Regulation 9 of the CI-91, it's giving the Electoral Commission the, to, to continuously register people. It's, it's purely about voters continuously registering people uh, on, on an on a, on a, on a annual basis or daily basis, as anybody may tell me. Now, the same Regulation 30 is also provides for the revision of the register of voters annually. Now, the CR 126 that came to Parliament does not have any provision uh, 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 of compiling a new register. Again, the CR 91 did not give the Electoral Commission any legal mandate to compile fresh register, a new register. Now, what they are seeking to do now is that when we compile a fresh register under CI 126, that it means Ghana will be faced with two voters register. Because the one CI 91 provides is still there, valid. And that is the legal voters register that should be used to... to uh, uh, in conducting election 2020. Now they are seeking to compile a fresh one. It means Ghana will be faced with two voters register. No, but the Electoral why... Commission, I mean, yes, there may, there may be the legalese uh, component of this dis discussion, but the Electoral Commission has said time and again that the current register in its present form has problems, for which reason they need to uh, compile a new one. And they've sought the, 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 your house, that's the parliament, to give them that legal backing to go ahead and compile it. So where lies the gray area you're talking about? The, the gray area here is parliament, as we speak today, did not give electoral commission to compile a fresh register. Read the CI 126 very well. Right. They seek to amend only uh, sec, uh, Regulation 1 of the 91 and uh, Regulation 32. That is the only thing. Now, Regulation 9 of the CI 91 is also there that there should be continuous registration. And okay. again, Regulation 30 of the 91. We are using CI 91 now, just as amended. So, okay. as we speak today, I agree with the Electoral Commission when they say that the, the, the register is fraught with uh, irregularities, etc. So, they need to change it. But they must come proper, they must do the proper thing by revoking the previous one before they can compile a fresh one. Okay, but, 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 Mr. Nobel, but, Mr. Nobel, wouldn't you agree? There's Wouldn't no you agree that your there. call is late in the day? Looking at the fact that your own flag bearer, uh, that's uh, um, former President uh, John Dramani Mahama, has already started telling people to go out and register when the uh, registration process starts. Do you not believe that going to court this time is late? Well, 
if, if it is late, I, I don't have, I just want the rule of law to work. We are in a democratic disposition. If we are going to do something of this nature, which is electoral process, we need to do it very well so that all the parties will be happy about it. So that at the end of the day, when the results are declared, nobody will, will, will be will be at, at pain for any irregularities. Right. Now, what we are what we are seeking to do, what I'm seeking to do is the the High Court should put injunction on the. The, the compilation of the first register based on the CI-91. Okay. That did not give them any legal mandate to compile a fresh register. Mr. Rugby, thank you very much. We'll see how this pans out uh, in the coming days. Uh, Monday will be uh, the first hearing of the case, we, we are told. Our course correspondents will be keeping a keen eye on that. This is your election command center. This is Midday Live.